So today we're going to be discussing about a project that one of the members from our school community made. His name's Chatai. He made this YouTube comment fetcher that leverages Crew AI's technology not only to pull comments from YouTube, but also to analyze them and give you basically a desired input in terms of how you want to analyze these comments. For me as a creator, this is pretty valuable information because I'm always trying to get feedback or trying to find out what it is that people want in terms of YouTube content. So hi, this is your project. I want you to demo it with the people and you can talk a little bit about what it does and we'll continue from there. The tool is, is basically when you give the link of the YouTube that we run just for a minute. And when you do the link, first of all, it fetch the comments. And then I divide the comments into some batches and then I send the batch to agents to analyze and collect them in a folder. And then finally I combine all of the comments in the final results. And I see this kind of like formatted in JSON. So this is the output from the agents in the file you were showing me right now? Yes, the agent is JSON because I thought combining all of them in a folder as a JSON file is easier than the other formats because it works like dictionary type and I can merge them easily. That's why I use JSON. Awesome. If you could pull up again, the output file that you showed me right now with the JSON comments. Yes. Okay. So I do see there that you have, it looks like different sections. You have like complaints, you have suggestions. So then you have the comment and then under each one you have insight. Why is it formatted like that? What is, why did you pick that for the format? So is the comment like the literal comment from the YouTube video and the insight is that the reply from the LLM? Yeah, I think this is the LLM analyze the comments and give the insights to us and we can understand the expectations of the viewers easily and we can take an action according to this analyze IP to instead of reading all of them. Awesome. These are the fundamental requests, complaints, suggestions, troubleshooting, other, all of them. The first is the, the first page of the comments and the second the second page of the comments I, I told you I need to divide due to the token limit of the LLMs and the LLMs cannot analyze the whole commons in, in a time and they don't let us awesome. So basically your project, you know, you give it the YouTube video link using the YouTube API, you're extracting all the comments where you're fetching all the comments. After you do that, you're using the LLMs through Crew AI to basically make categories for the comments. I saw in there, you had different categories. You had like suggestions, you had like complaints, you had, you know, different categories. And then after you categorized all the comments like that, you also basically wrote out like a proposed reply or a proposed solution maybe for like the creator for how they could reply to that comment or, you know, just a suggestion. Yeah. So that's really cool. And, um, I think that's a pretty elaborate crew AI project cause you're using different tools. You're doing a lot of data processing. So let me ask you this, what's your previous experience with programming? Cause I see this and I feel like, you know, you do this for a job, like you've been doing this for a long time. What's your What's your experience with that? Actually, I don't have too much experience. I just changed my area to coding. At first, I graduated from completely different area, but I decided to change it to this area. And until I saw your videos, I even didn't know what I And then learned Crew AI through your videos. And also after that, I checked their repository and also their documentation and I learned how it work better and then i try to create the custom tool and it allows us to create custom tool to give them and it i think it give a lot of flexibility to people to develop something awesome yeah so i mean obviously thank you i appreciate that what you're saying about the videos i'm glad you were able to get value from them so how long have you been working with python would you say you've only been working with python maybe like a few months like a year what's your one experience? Year, like, okay like one and a half years yeah, yeah so i think you know it's definitely not a long time but obviously you've gotten some experience and you're doing a lot with crew ai even though you're still learning about it and i think that's awesome so for this project like you said you start learning about crew ai you developed you downloaded on one of the tutorials, the sample project, and then you started adding your parts to it. And like you said, after that, you started looking into 
making your own custom tools. And then I'm sure you had to look into like how to make API calls, API requests. And as you started adding all those different parts of your project, because your project does have a lot of different parts, could you walk me through some of the obstacles you, you ran into and how you went about solving them? At first, I think I, when I, I read the documentation, I thought it be so easy and I, I could create this tool just every day, one day. When I started creating and encountered a lot of obstacles, first of all, as I said, the first obstacle, and I need to divide them, but after that, I need to get results as a JSON format, but at first, even I told agents that I need a JSON format, strictly JSON format, it adds some small notes after the results, for example, the chain is finished and this is your final result or something like that. And I redesigned the description, I told it to what I want. And also the second major error was the escape characters. Because if escape character in a JSON format, in the results of the agents, it breaks the format and I couldn't say them JSON format. And then I tried to delete and replace them empty string. And I, first of all, in lower case, I tried it, but it doesn't work. It didn't like all of them and then I tried for example until here this works but even if I tell them you know letters it didn't delete something like this and are these things and I need to write them separate and after that uh, it cleans the comments that fetched from this tool and then it was ready to analyze for the agents that's awesome and, uh, the other obstacle was the combining them because agents, not for example, in the first page, it return a result in this format, for example. But in the second format, again, I redesigned to expect the output and the description. And I well, I just want the citation of comments and the insights. And I only want these categories from it. And it works with the Lama 7 b And also, uh, I tried to use ChatGPT. And it is result return of this behind the results. And it put this all the time in front of the result. And I, I need to, to delete it because with this, it couldn't save to JSON format. And after I edit this, it worked and managed to save the files from JSON file. Awesome. So it definitely sounds like you ran into different issues as you started building your project. And like you said, once you had the idea down and you got a little bit familiar with Korea, you kind of thought like, oh, this will be done in a day. I'll have it done by the weekend. But I think, like you said, there's that problem of token limits, which a lot of people are running into. And then even once you got your agents to pretty much behave how you wanted them to, there was the issue of trying to save that data in like an organized manner, whether that's like in JSON format or .csv. Like you said, there was a lot of troubleshooting you had to go into in terms of formatting the data, in terms of parsing out the strings and I saw that section of the code where you were using a lot of regular expressions to take out all those slashes from on there which again that goes back more to like programming principles and programming language things that you need to know or that you wouldn't know you would run into if you hadn't dealt with it before so what was what are some of the tools that you used to kind of help you get through these obstacles we're using more like chat gpt or do you use copilot on your code editor what was kind of like your process whenever you ran into an issue that you weren't sure how to fix as you know the new ai is a new tool and the chat gpt doesn't really aware of this even if i sent its description it doesn't really help i tried many attempts after that i get errors all of the attempts and i talk chat gpt many many times to get a concrete results and for example this troubleshooting wasn't there at the first and after i encountered some of the girls, i decided to troubleshooting after watching videos and it was i thought it would be beneficial in the analyze awesome yeah we we, we had some online meetings i asked my questions and we researched together some of the parts 
and we improve our knowledge surgery. No, that's awesome. I think, and you know, like I said, I was more than happy to help out. You definitely always had really good questions, but also I think what really helped you is that we were just working on this project for so many hours. Each time I looked at it, you were doing a completely different thing, you know, and then you had a completely different set of issues you were running into. But again, I think that's one of the fastest ways you can learn is you try something else. If that doesn't work, you learn something new, try it again and see if that works. So like you said, you didn't really have a very strong background in programming. You didn't study this in school. You're not working as a developer or anything. You've kind of been teaching your own through YouTube, through AI technologies. And like I said, like this project, it does something that I think is very elaborate. And to some, it might seem like it's very complicated. So what are some tips you would have for somebody that was interested in AI? Maybe they feel a little bit intimidated if they're you know, trying to get started. In these days, if you want to learn something, YouTube and ChatGPT are the two most beneficial tools, I think. Because if you want to learn such as this Crew AI, when you search Crew AI, there are plenty of videos. And if you don't understand some part of it, you can just ask GPT. GPT and it's internally editing. And I think in this time, we are so lucky because we don't need to search to find answers for long hours. For example, Stack Overflow or Google and the maybe blog page, we don't need to search and we don't need to spend too much hour while searching. We can just ask and get results. No, I think that's definitely a true point. I remember before ChatGPT when you had to first look for an issue, you would Google it, hope somebody had dealt with it and maybe like in Stack Overflow. And then you kind of had to go through the trouble of seeing if that was the thing you were dealing with. But like you said, right now, the time in order to find the answer is so short that really you can just spend more time in actually implementing it and learning it on your own. So I think that's super true what you said. So again, Thank you, Chatai, for sharing this project with me, for sharing it with the community. I'm sure there's a lot of people that are going to benefit from using this project and also adding whatever spin they want to it. I know what I would want to do to it later on is I would want to get it to extract video transcripts so I can kind of like get a good idea on what other creators are talking about or what the hot topics are. Because I think for me, from my perspective, there's so much content that you can consume. Sometimes sitting down and watching it may take up too much time. So you really want to figure out what content is worth consuming, right? You can just change the description of the agents and what you want to get from the comments, what you want to learn. It is so easy to change and you can get everything you or anything you want to learn. I think it's one of the amazing things of AI agents, right? That once you kind of have the framework for the tools it needs in order to get the data, you can pretty much extract it and do with it whatever you want. So thank you for pointing that out. So if you guys are working on your own crew AI projects, your own AI projects, you're on the journey where you're trying to learn a little bit more about programming, but you keep getting stuck, or maybe I get it a lot of the time that I'm spending doing this. I'm kind of on my own, locked in my room in the dark, as you can see. So if you want to be surrounded with a community of people that are also working on these projects that you can ask questions to that you can collaborate with i do recommend that you join my school community i'm going to be leaving the link in the description and again the point of that is so that you can have a group of people like i said that you can collaborate with again this tool that chat i made i think it's amazing but with all the other things i'm doing even if i wanted a tool like this it probably would have been weeks or months before i even started on that project but because of the value that he was able to provide to me and the value I was able to provide to him, both in the things that he had already learned or issues that maybe I've run into the past to help him solve his project. He was able to get this done pretty fast. And now we have this super amazing project. So, you know, aside from aside from trying to learn by just doing projects, one of the other ways that you can really speed up your learning is going to be by collaborating with others that have a similar goal to you. So chat height. Thank you again for sharing this with us. Thank you for sharing your experience. We really love this project. I'm sure a lot of people in the community are going to love it as well. We're still tink tinkering with it a little bit, so it might be a couple of days before we submit this repo. But again, we're very excited to do that as well. Is there anything else you want to share with us, Chatai, about future projects or future things you're looking forward to doing with AI or with crew AI applications? I think, you know, we come up with this idea while talking on Discord. And also, I want to thank you to invite me for your community. I think also your videos are very helpful. And maybe we can come, come up with any other ideas while talking on 
Discord community because Discord community is so active and if you are interested in anyone can join and we can discuss anything. We can do some projects together to improve ourselves. Awesome. Yeah, no, definitely excited to continue working on more stuff with you in the future. And guys, if you have a specific project that you're working on, whether it's a personal one or for your business, I'm also going to leave a link in the description where you'll be able to book a one-on-one -on -one video call with me, same as Chatai did. And again, that's completely free. That's just so I can give you a little bit more input, a little bit more insight on what I think might be helpful for your project. So if you need a little bit more help for these projects that you're working on, whether it's a personal project or one that you're trying to use for a business or one you're trying to sell, I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can also book a one-on-one -on -one video call with me, completely free. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you for inviting me again. Yes, sir. See you. Bye-bye.